So we're here with Nate Carr at the NCAA Wrestling Championships, and obviously, Nate, you keep busy here. You're involved with all kinds of things. Talk a little bit about what, what your role is with NCAA Wrestling. Right, well, the NCAA, I do some commentating, and we have the semifinal preview show. That's with Scott Casper, Wade Chalice. Uh, tonight, we'll interview uh, Tom Brands, Cale uh, Sanderson, Dan Gable, and then Mike Chandler, the Bellator champion, uh, with a live band. And so it should be pretty interesting for an hour and a half show with Scott Casper, uh, Wade Shallis, and myself. Yeah, so, so you have fun. I mean, you get yeah, to be Mr. Communicator. Yes, yeah, kind of give I your try. theories about how the wrestling That's is right. and everything. I mean, is this a highlight for you to see the great wrestling, but also have a chance to share your thoughts with everybody? Un unbelievable. I love it. I thank the, those guys for the opportunity. And it, it's great. I mean, I, I love wrestling and everything that everything about wrestling i love it so so let's talk a little bit about olympic wrestling you were a bronze medalist at the olympic games in 88 you wrestled at the senior level for a long time one got all over the world because of wrestling and you know obviously everyone in wrestling is a little upset with the ioc recommendation about yes. maybe taking wrestling out of the games for 2020 uh, what would you tell the ioc in regards to why wrestling is such a great sport and and how popular it is worldwide based on your experience right just just one, the history of wrestling, that it was one of the top six sports when wrestling, when the, the Olympics started. So it has history. And then the diversification uh, that, that wrestling has. And then the distrib distribution of the medals and all the nations that wrestle. I mean, it's just a life changer, not just for our country, but the whole world is just a great sport and evidently one of the most popular Olympic sports. And so, and not to mention that it makes champions for life. Now you've been to other countries, and have you been places where they love wrestling even more than here in the United States? And have you had the yeah. hostile crowds uh, rooting against oh, Nate Carr and the mat? Probably, uh, <laughs> de definitely uh, Russia. No doubt about it. I, I mean, I was wrestling at world champion, and I actually thought somebody threw something from the stands, but it was actually a headlock. But, <laughs> but yeah, they they love wrestling, and uh, definitely. Uh, more than us, especially the Olympic style, because, you know, uh, that's where they, they start with it. And over here we have folk style and freestyle. So. I talk a little bit about what you're doing, uh, not, not involved with wrestling, but, you know, your career, your life, things that are happening with your family. Well, really, you know, my thing is influence and how I can influence and make champions, not only on the mat, Gary, but in life. So I do a lot of uh, ministering uh, to professional athletes, uh, the, the amateurs, and then the young people. I have a wrestling club, car wrestling club, and there I get a chance to pour into uh, the grade school, the junior high, all the way up to high school, and then even some of the college guys. And so I, I, I love it. I just love giving back and then influencing people, you know, not just in this lifetime, but the lifetime to come too. Now let's talk a little about this tournament. I mean, are you one that might make a prediction? You got, you got a team uh, a team you think might win this thing, or you just kind of hold off on that? No, I'm going to hold off, Gary. <laughs> <laughs> Dick Taylor, you wouldn't talk about that either? Or? <laughs> no, we'll, we'll do that later. <laughs> <laughs> but you're looking forward to it. Oh, yes, definitely. Yeah, this one should be really interesting. It's going to be exciting. Outstanding. Thanks, Nate. <laughs> All right, Gary. <laughs>